We're back! We're back! It's the new year! Woo! Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Sean. Uh, and of course, I'm coming to you live from the safe, isolated confines of Coding Entertainment Streaming Studio in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, with me today, and I'm so glad to have him back and be able to see this guy. Uh, it's my best friend, Lee. Hello, forever best friend, Sean. You know, I, I'm really glad that we got to do this Zoom call between you and me. Just, you know, our show isn't being back yet, and I just <laughs> missed you, so... Like, I'm really just happy that we get to just yeah. do this where we just hang out, no pressure, no pancake worries. Yeah, it's just so, it's just us to chat, man. It's been such a long time. We should, we've should yeah. done this more over, over the holiday, but, you know, it happens. It's holiday season. I can't wait till we can do our pancake show. Oh, I, you know, I even remembered to think about it, and I didn't change the thing on the screen. I'm so bad. Oh, hold on. I got a text coming in from Sasha. Oh, we're live. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, we're live. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to update the code on the screen. Wouldn't be Griddle Champions if I didn't uh, do this. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we have Sasha hiding in the background, being the mysterious moderator, helping us out. So, hello everybody. Welcome back. Oh, it's been a it's been a couple weeks. You notice the new hat, right? Huh? How's it looking? How's it looking? Looking like I'm jealous. <laughs> looking like you're jealous. I should have brought in the um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Slayer's cake apron too. It's double up. Oh, because <laughs> you wanted me like to realize like, oh, maybe I didn't miss him that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's just kind of a jerk, right? Uh, this was made by my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Nevada. This is my one of her Christmas presents to me. So I open it and she's like, I don't know if you'll like it that much, but you know, I, you'll, you'll probably like it. I open it up and I say, Are you kidding me? I love this thing. This is amazing. You know, I like Nevada, but I feel like. I now feel like she's a liar because she knows you would have. Oh asked. yeah. Like, yeah well, I don't she... know if you'll like it. <laughs> hey, okay. you know that show you get to do? I don't know if you'll like it, but I made friggin' merch for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just kidding. I love you, Nevada. That's really cool. Um, still checking my mailbox every day, and I <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. It's. Just... <laughs> we should get you like a little one that sits on your hand. Yes. <laughs> like a uh, um. Oh, like a corsage of of uh, Griddle Champion. <laughs> yeah. A little, little pancake bracelet. corsage, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she, that's true. Now, that does have some hat trauma from previous gifts. She, uh, she's made some previous hats for me that have been a little, little off the mark. Um, but, you know, mm. they're just like, oh, hey, these are great. Thanks. Oh, little closet. <laughs> uh, she also got me a, a nice set of uh, brass, like, hollow dice with little like, dragon inlays around them. They look really cool. Oh, they roll pretty great. well. Uh, and then, of course, I got a, a, a jump, uh, one of those inflatable dinosaur costumes. <laughs> like the, the, the inflatable T-Rex costume, so, so cool. It's so big. Uh, what did I get her, though? That is true. Uh, I got her the Kingdom Hearts Talisman game. Uh, which, I come out over the summer, or last year, or something along those lines. Uh, we played it, sorry, it actually came in on Monday. Um... And then we played it on Tuesday, and she thoroughly destroyed me. I, mean, I don't think I've ever lost so hard. What game uh, is it? Uh, Tal it's a it's the it's Talisman, but a Kingdom Hearts edition of it. I don't know Talisman. Yeah, well. Talisman. It's a bit of an older game. Um, it's honestly it's it's a very simple game because uh, it's also about like you have a, like an outer an outer layer, an inner layer, and then like the the path to victory kind of thing. And you have to like work your way in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so you have to like. Uh, it's all stat-based stuff. You do a bunch of fighting and collecting items and fighting each other. So, I got the poop end of every stick, uh, like every card that was drawn. So, she, I, I think I had three victory points at the end, and she had thirty-one, or it was two to thirty-one, or something along those lines. Zoinks! Yeah, yeah, I got thoroughly destroyed. Uh. But Billy G2000, Combat Wheelchair, just wondering what's the reference? Well, that reference... Oh, sorry, it was 3 to 35. Yes, thank you, Nevada, for remembering that. Um, that reference is actually from uh, one of the champions we announced today on Twitter uh, with the help of uh, at Mustangs Arts, but Talon Oran, one of the new upcoming champions, which we'll, we'll do some art. We're going to do a little bit of art for uh, for him later. So it's going to be it's gonna be good. We're really excited. I'm really excited. I know a lot oh, of people yeah. here are excited, too. Is it a reference from, to Dagon from Critical Role? I mean, kind of, yes, uh, but mostly for, for Talon. 
Yeah, no, it is. It is. Reference for Talon and Mustang's art. Yeah. The button discords to the champs while they post the link, but it still doesn't work. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not. Huh. Uh. Oh, hey, Robo Goblin, how's it going? Welcome back. Morning. Hey. Okay. See you. I don't because I don't have chat <laughs> open. Uh, yeah. open. Yeah. But I always see you. Oh yeah, we also announced the winners uh, for the uh, Icons of the Realm giveaway we had going on. Let me just pull that up here. Oh god, why is that underneath? Something. Oh, mince can boot. Okay. Give it, we get, gave away two of these. Uh, Baldur's Gate Archon the Cruel sets. Uh, and f strangely enough, um, they both went to somebody named Christopher. <laughs> uh, one in Elk Grove, I think that's California, another one in Berwick, Australia. Ooh. Woo. Uh, <laughs> start chasing 43 for Sean forgive me but I've got to start 2021 off right what did you have for breakfast I gotta keep tradition and absolutely nothing yeah I don't see the uh, spotlight on the website either uh, uh, da -da -da. So, wow. right, let, me, let me poke people uh, I'm Swing Dog Italy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Happy New Year to everybody. It's going to be a nice hat, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about that hat? <laughs> talk about it more, please. So good. <laughs> the coloring's good. The, the cry cut mm -hmm. is good. The cricket, cry cut, whatever you pronounce it. I always forget. I, I pronounce it like. <laughs> yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah, it feels good to be back. I, honestly, not gonna lie, I was a little nervous coming into today, just because it's been, you know, a couple weeks. It's been. It's been honestly yeah. um, two weeks to stream with me. I don't know. It. There were like a little bit of nerves, maybe last night. Oh yeah. But then I woke up and I was like, wait, we have such. I mean, we have such a supportive, like fan base and group here that I, I don't know I've never been concerned uh, yeah. just mostly because you and I get to professionally hang out and check us to join us yeah we goof around and have you know good good clean happy fun and I don't know if I I don't know if I could get you know, that nervous about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like just, you know, it's I the whole, that, it's whole be on camera that, thing, right? It's like, oh, I'm a camera in front of everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah. See, I was going to say, wait till, you know, when everything is settled and cons are happening and yeah. there's just too much of a demand for us not to do one with the yeah. live Riddle Champions. Then we'll readdress that question of I don't think I could get it. Yeah. Uh, Eldoa says we missed you. Oh, we missed you, too. Missed you as well, a lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Is it a dragon bait chest? Uh, you know, it's it's twenty twenty one. What do you think? Gotta keep new year, new dragon bait. <laughs> new year, new dragon bait. Yeah. What's your, what's your new year's resolution to make a dragon bait pancake? Like, <laughs> oh man, I gotta say, some resolutions are doable, some are not, and that just seems <laughs> way. Yeah, that's that's a way of left field. I don't think we can. That's outside the realm of possibility. Yeah. But, you know, keep shooting for the stars. All right, how about a flip of the first pancake oh, of 2021? Bring it on. Flip it up. Oh. Uh, this is actually just a little throwback. Uh, this, uh, for the old folks here who remember, uh, is the one of the one of our first, uh, well, not one of the first, but like one of the really, really early uh, weekend chests we give away is the Brimstone Chest. Uh, so we're actually 
uh, she used to have like Lou for uh Frida, Hitch, Makos, and Strix. Uh, three of the four, and soon to be five, Tieflings and L Champions. Uh, we have a special code for this one, and it's Griddle Brimstone. We'll get you one of those. Uh, get you one of those chests. Yeah. You know, post those. Boom. Griddle Brimstone. It's a little, little welcome back present for everybody. Uh, Drock and CMH, I'm convinced y'all are trying to drive me crazy. I finally completed all the variants Wednesday morning. This morning I'm, I'm 10 short. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know what? It's just, no, you guys have more stuff to do. You got 10 to complete now before next Wednesday um, when when Talon gets released finally. Yeah? Uh, wait, isn't a chef's hat called a toque? Uh, no, a toque is like a, a knit, like a wool hat. Yeah, uh, yeah, a, a winter knit hat. It's a Canadian thing. Yes, I uh, also knew that. <laughs> I think it's more of a Canadian thing. Or a Canadian name for it. Uh, Mox Pro Cool Hat Sean, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Nevada made it for me. I'm telling you, we should start a trend of, like, arm hats. Arm hats, yeah. Uh, the, the two started out with a Twitch show of pancake art, and then <laughs> they created the arm hat, and the rest is history. Yeah, cover of Vogue magazine, the arm hat. Uh, Duncan O, combat wheelchair is Dagon the next champ? No, no. Uh, Talon Oran is uh, the next champion, coming champion, who's also in the, the combat wheelchair. Uh, created by At Mustangs Art, so really I'm excited. A wheelchair to called Edge. Edge. <laughs> what? what? Yes, sir. It's clean. Yes, I thought so. Yeah. Uh, USB cereal. How many different pancake batter colors do you have on hand? Today. A lot. A lot. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, I guess there's a definitely a decent amount. Is that the most I've had? No. So anytime you use Sentry is when the, it's the most you've had. Uh, well, it was shoot the one where it, when we uh, released all the high rollers ones. Oh yeah, so everyone's a different color, and Lucius is just like brilliantly yeah. colorful. Yeah. How do you make this pancake? This one character <laughs> yeah. has fourteen colors. So I think that time on my like smaller squeeze tubes, I had twenty something, oh, and I had. Thirteen big ones. Dang. Mm-hmm. Sorry for the cleanup on that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently, two with a different definition in not Canada. <laughs> uh, per wiki, it's it is the chef's hat, except in Canada where it's a knit cap. Weird. Oh, what the? Uh, yeah. Sometimes I feel like we took Google for granted. <laughs> you see what I did? You can get out of here. <laughs> did you see what I did? I did, I did. Did you see what I did there? As I, um, took, is what they said it was called. And so I made a joke about, about took for granted. <clears throat> Sorry. Someone had to appreciate that joke. Even a took is also me. a hard type hat or helmet worn for riding, especially in equestrian sports. Now it's probably known as a traditional headgear. Yeah, now it's known as a traditional, uh, probably known as a traditional headgear for professional cooks, except in Canada where it's to return is primarily used for knit caps. Huh. Weird. Canada's weird, bro. Weird, weird. Talk about stuff I didn't know I didn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Information that I will forget in the next two hours. <laughs> yeah. I am actively trying to not remember that. <laughs> Uh, so that brimstone chest love gear for Talon around, and no, it won't. No, just for who did I say? Um, Calliope, Frida, uh, Hitch, Makos, and Strix. Yeah, it does not contain uh, gear for Talon. Oh, 
And the detail on that, like, on the middle part there is crazy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're crazy. You're crazy. Yeah, I think I put a picture on Twitter about the uh, close-up of the hat, so if people want to see that. Let's see if we're all close. And feel free to take a look. Uh, I'm going to clear out... i clear out some of the old promo stuff here. Uh, all right. So how was your guys' how was your guys uh, holiday season? Everyone get anything good for Christmas? Who got, who got dice? Okay, here. I'm, I hope everybody in this chat got dice. Hey man. <laughs> in chat. You get dice. You doing pancakes? Uh, is the weekend bonus the Brimstone weekend? No, it's not. Uh, the weekend bonus is the Winter Warriors weekend. Right, it's the eighth today, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, eighth. Yeah. Your, it's the eighth. <gasps> God, we're interested to not get dice. Oh no. That's no good. Yeah, oh my. So, I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh, Sasha's Sasha quick on the draw. I got the, uh, got the, the Twitter post from it for the hat. Thank you, Sasha. Oh man, people are lacking here. <laughs> I probably have ten pounds of dice. Nice. Yeah. What about me? So I have my. I got that big critical roll bag full of dice. So. Nighthammer got dice for my son. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing that is good to consider too is that while not everyone maybe got dice, is that at least some one person probably got enough dice for <laughs> for everybody. For everyone yeah, to have gotten yeah. their own dice. Yeah. Uh, noob tube and Aider. <laughs> Classic. Uh, good old noob tubes. Uh, I got a few sets of metal dice. Oh, nice. Uh, Damascus steel knife. Ooh. Uh, and a 30th anniversary copy of the Similarian. Nice. Sounds like a good haul. All um, oh, right, weekend buff. That's what I was going to talk about. Uh, oh, my back. Uh, right, yeah, so Winter Warrior weekend. Uh, so we're going to be buffing Regis, uh, Jarlaxel, uh, I never pronounced his name, Makos, Makos, Makos. I never get that run right. No, uh, but you definitely do say Makos, Makos, Makos every time, so it's <laughs> that, way, that way I need to get it. Um, Beetle and Grim and Sasaspia. Like, I feel like there's so many more characters. Like, wait a second. You're buffing Makos, Makos, and Makos? <laughs> Makos, Makos, Makos? You're, you're buffing all three of them? Makos bits in my salad. Yeah. And you... <laughs> You can say Sasaspia, but not, but not Makos. It's, it's, just, it's just Makos or Makos. I never remember how, how it's pronounced. Makos? Okay, Makos. Makos. I'll get it. I, it's just the one name I, I never I never get yeah, right. Yeah, because you know why? Why? You ever watch uh, Avatar? The Airbender or the... Yeah, the last Airbender. Okay, yeah. Mako. Mako? I don't remember who that is. Mako. He gets in uh, the... Korra one, so it's... Oh. It's been a while since I've watched uh, Avatar. Okay, but I'm saying, in your brain somewhere... Oh, probably. There is... That's how you pronounce that kind of a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what about the Mac OS? Yeah. <laughs> that's good, crazy Matt. Uh... Start to face your so the Sean Champions, the Lord Brigitte for the remo renewal of 2021. How long do we continue to continue enjoying your banter with Lee? I mean, as long as you guys like us. Yeah. So ho hopefully forever and ever. Yeah, you can quote me now. We are never leaving. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. When this started, it was 10 episodes. And who knows? Maybe if people like it, we'll stick around. And we've been here for almost 40 episodes at this point, so... Yeah, we're getting, like, all... crazy close. We're on, like, this is 39? Oh, wow. So, the only reason that we are still here is because you are here, you are friends, and that's, um, so... No, that's, this, is, dude, this, asked... is, this is 40. Oh. So this is 40. Sounds yeah. like, uh... Sounds like a really, 
weird new show that we're starting on NBC. Yeah, <laughs> this is 40. This is a bunch of 40-year-olds who just turned 40 that year. Oh, I'm getting close enough, man. It's ten, you got 10 years for me. Well, n nine and counting now, actually. Nine and months, yeah. I mean, I'm young. I'm hip. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm with it. I threw, I threw my back out on New Year's Eve day <laughs> uh, from picking up my child. Because, hey. <laughs> oh, I spent all of that Thursday, like, hole up in bed, um, because I didn't get to sleep that night until, uh, until, uh, what's it called, through six in the morning the next day. Oh, yikes. Yeah. I had to go in the living room and shove pillows behind my back and sit. Mm-hmm. Chester, I'd like you a lot more with the Dragon Bit Pancake at some point. Well, you know, Jester, how often to... do you use Dragon Bait? Honestly, like how often uh -oh. is he? Uh -oh. How often is he in your in your formation? Uh, I'll do and watch the GE. Uh, whatever it is, whatever that is on screen, you'll find so out. So something, something with colors I really enjoy. I really enjoy using pinks, purples. Maroons. Um, they just, I don't know, they just look so good in Pancake. It does, yeah. Like, if you were like, hey, what's your favorite color? And you asked me before I ever started doing Pancakes, it would have just been forest green. Easy. No yeah. issue. No problem. Now I'm like, I don't know, maybe this. <laughs> Goopy maroon. <laughs> Goopy maroon? Great color. Uh, he's dragon bait a lot for gold from with Azaka and really do it a lawful. Plus he's using stress of, but thanks. <laughs> yeah. You know, I said to make sure you're actually using them. You're not just like pulling them for the meme. Like, oh, what about dragon bait, right? Sounds like a band name, Goopy Maroon and the Banditos. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Goopy Maroon and the GE bags. Yeah, the GE bags, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I think the Discord post got taken down for now for the uh, the fake announcement. Uh, that that's coming later today. No, sir, I actually use them. All right, all right. So one of the things that Ashley got this we got these beef boy these beefs. Oh, big uh, water bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get healthy, 64 ounces of water, I have to, and, and she gets on me if I don't finish a whole one in a day. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a little bit of my like New Year's resolution is to drink more water. I'm really bad at it. Just, just pop all the time. It's really bad. I don't know. I'm just trying to resolve to be in good enough physical condition to pick up my child and not for your back because i proved last week that that's <laughs> at this point potentially unattainable what happened? it's one of those moments of like uh oh there's a problem what <laughs> goris is uh 64 ounces is minus 32 and it still feels large what are these ounces you speak of i don't get it what is that in liters that's oh, almost two liters oh. okay that's not too bad I think it's, what is that? It's like 1.89 liters. Oh, okay. Second time of the new year. Oh. So you have actually the second resolution, which is kind of like a part, uh, uh, one for mostly for you. Uh, which Me? is, I think, because like, last year we didn't, we didn't rip a pancake on flip. So I think we keep that, we keep that going for this year. Wait, so, oh, you mean getting the emote? Well, getting you know it was great. I meant my like last year when you flipped a pancake, nothing ever ripped, right? Oh, so you want me to rip a pancake? No, I want you to, to not rip a pancake. To keep up with that going and not rip oh. pancakes. But god dang, do we need emotes though? Ready? Oh yeah. Swam. So brown. Woo. Uh, so this is the uh, the GE for this week. Uh, it's Regis's slot five. Uh, the halfling's bag of stashing. 
It's like a bag of holding, except completely plain and non-magical. So his, his bag. It's a bag. Yeah. That's it. Just a bag. We just says bag of it's a bag. Yeah. It's just says bag of yeah it's a bag. Bag of messenger bag. So it's a bag of stashing. Oh boy. <laughs> so <laughs> so a bag. A bag yes. Yeah. It's a bag that used to bag things, yeah. Like bagged milk. Can't go wrong with bagged milk. <laughs> How can you eat it? <laughs> oh, did, because they posted, I think I posted as well. I hope I did. Did you see the uh, the commission pancakes that I made? Oh, I think I did. That were out there? I think I saw them. I'm going to look them up anyway. Uh, for... Uh, for... For blackbirds? I did remember seeing them. Hold on. I gotta scroll through all your all your posts. Oh, with like the with like the mask? It's like, well, the, like a the grumbling kind of thing? thing. Yeah. No. Is that that one is? That that's that's from someone I follow who oh. uh, I made I made that one actually a really long time ago when oh. someone in our community passed that I really oh, and that liked one's... and missed still. <laughs> it's from a while ago. I'll show you later. Okay, yeah, yeah. The, the grumbling mods. It's just some of the like creepiest things I've gotten to make and I <laughs> Just a bag oh flashbacks of Sophia's putting a bag of holding to a bag of holding. Oh no. You never do that. You never put a bag of holding in a bag of holding. Doesn't that create like a portal to the astral plane? Or is it, or is it, or you do the portable hole in the bag of holding? Yeah, you're gonna, you can do either one, right? Yeah. I've always wanted to like be, or, be in or run a campaign in the astral plane. So it sounds like, it sounds really cool. But I think that's very planescape, right? Planescape, planescape? Planescape, yeah. So speaking of speaking of campaigns, we uh, I think we only got like one or two sessions in over the holiday, uh, and my party met Archon, which was really fun, because they cut yes. off his hand and killed him. What? Yeah. <laughs> I've. You, I just I made a, you, I made a mistake. <laughs> weren't I, you telling me, like, yeah, you know, they have the potential to get Archon as a really good ally and. Yeah. 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 So like they they met up with Archon and like the group, because um, I was going to have Tia Matt help uh, with some future stuff. Uh, then he, uh, Archon was like, you know what? If you want our help, you know, prove you're worthy. We'll have a little little trial by combat thing, and then you know, if you if you defeat us, you know we'll we'll help you out. So our uh, our bard just wall of force Archon like three times in a row, so I couldn't do anything. Then we all like once they. Once they defeated like Torgar and Krull, um, they moved off to the side and then they all kind of like surrounded Archon. And then just like once that dome came down, they just like beat him. I bet you had a blast running that fight. Yeah. And then like I, I mentioned like how his hand looked a little bit different in the our wizard, who was a necromancer, obviously, it was like, Oh hey, what's that hand? Rolls a check. I'm like, yeah, you know it's this. And he's like, he leans over and he's like, I want that hand. I was like, oh no, I forgot, I didn't, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, but now I get to play with the fun of, uh, of Vecna's hand, like, trying to take control of him and, like, causing him to do, like, super evil deeds. If he uses the hand at all. He's already cut off his hand and attached it, so. Dude. So, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I know, right? I can't, I, the worst part is like I forgot. I, I knew Archon had the hand, but then like when I was like when I was DMing it all, all out and stuff, and I was like, oh, you know what? They're probably gonna try and take the hand. And like it's like five minutes later, he's like, I'm, I want to take that hand. I'm like, oh no! Very unfortunate, but it happens. 
Uh, so how do you carry multiple bags of holding if they can't carry each other? You just have to have like a sling of them all. Can't put one inside the other. Or get a handy haversack, either one. You have multiple pockets. You also have to be very strong, yeah. Uh, I don't think the, the ha weighs that much. To remove it, maybe. If it weighs what? How much does it weigh? Weighs on your, weighs on your soul. Oh, yeah, it weighs 15 pounds. It's actually, a, it's actually a pretty heavy bag, yeah. Yeah, pack horse, yeah. I mean, like how much? Like when the guys are in the military and they carry those packs, like how much? Those packs weigh like forty to fifty pounds, don't they, or more? Oh yeah, fifteen pounds on top of all your armor and gear. Yeah, that's true. So it depends on who you, uh, the character you're running. <laughs> oh, also our um, uh, our fighter died in the campaign. Oh, yeah, they were fighting. Um, uh, they they were doing like a kind of a flashback scene where they they could actually die in the flashback, but they didn't know that. How does that work? Uh, it's more like they they got to the certain area that it, like teleported them into like a scene. But if they died there, because it's, it's like a, a way to like prove your worth. Mm. And they were deemed unworthy? Uh, they were deemed worthy because they did end up winning. Uh, the combat technically went longer than it should have. Uh, but it was no... F the, way they, the way they have it... I think they have it put in the book is like a little bit no fun. And I know my party is strong enough to, de to pretty much win the fight. Because um, the roles were very, very much in their favor this time. So they had to fight Yonghu. On who the the Noel Demon Lord it was a uh, oof, it's a spicy fight. All right, the fighter like saved on every single effect that could have hit him. He was rolling, like, he was just rolling rocks, <laughs> getting a little get a little frustrated. Not gonna lie. Boy, what a week! What a holiday! Glad to be back, though. Didn't have a lot. Of, actually, didn't have a whole lot of tickets, which was like nice. Had a decent chunk, but definitely less than I had last year. So I'm pretty much like already caught up again. It was good. We've also got a year's more experience. Oh too, yeah, that, so. that too. Yeah. There's also a lot more in the game that could break now, especially like Modron and stuff. So. Plus, we were, uh, me, David, and Peter were pretty active in, like, checking over the holidays, too, so. Check out the Discord since you've been back. Yeah, I've been looking, I've been looking through there. I was honestly checking Discord during the holidays, too. Uh, I got pinged a couple times. But not, not a whole lot, though, so it was good. <laughs> Start submitting bay tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah, we already, we already have a big list of the bailoff stuff. Uh, so that should be being, uh, that should be getting fixed pretty dang soon. Uh, and, he's, and he's already like, he's already really good. And so I think when, we, when he gets fixed, he's gonna be like even better. So. I tried out a, um, an Ashara, uh, uh, you know, Ashara formation with him and it just, it did really well. So I'm excited. Yeah, already had, already had the bill of stuff all fixed up. Uh, there's like some issues with the bosses, I think. Should have, a temporary fix went out today. Uh, should have a more permanent fix uh, later on. Approach when the next bill goes out, so whenever that is. Is when uh, everything should be fixed. Also got Time Gate weekend today. Yeah, t game is much more stable. Yeah, game's been I feel, like, I feel like the game's in a good spot. Like, it does have a couple of things that need to be fixed, obviously, still. Like, it's definitely some of the offline progress um, being a big one. 
uh, which is just like one of those things that like we know has been on the back of our heads, but it's such a big in depth thing to go into that it's been like let's let's clear up a lot of other stuff at beforehand, and then we'll we'll kind of fo- major focus on this as like a whole team. Um, but that's that should be coming soon. Uh, Sean, would you prefer one ticket with multiple issues or one ticket per issue? Um. Hmm. Feels like a loaded question because now you know you're getting a bunch of tickets coming. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I think it depends on the issue. Like if it's if it's the same if it's like a champion issue, you know, Bailoff as an example. Like, you know, I wouldn't want a ticket per Bailoff issue. I'd want it like all a ticket, like one ticket for every issue of Bailoff you know. Um. Right. So if they're related issues. Yeah. If they're if they're all kind of related, then all one all one thing. Um. If they're separate than that, uh, then and then definitely uh, multiple tickets. So if, if you're Sean like, can say, while I'm here, I'll also take a look at this. Yeah. One ticket for those things. Yeah, yeah kind of, for multiple tickets. Yeah, but if it's like you know, like my offline progress failed, uh, and this uh, variant was having an issue, um, probably probably just like combine those two. Uh, definitely tickets over Discord. Yeah. Hundred percent tickets over. Like I checked Discord. I should be checking more regularly, but it's easier for me to handle that kind of stuff in ticket form. So yeah, so definitely prefer tickets over Discord, hundred percent. I think like posting things on Discord should be like, like odd graphical stuff, like things that like aren't, like aren't as serious. Right? That's my thought, at least. Which I do check, I said, I do check Discord. It's just not as frequently as, I, as it would be working the tickets and stuff. So, and then looking over like Reddit and things like that. So, we still using my trackers? Yes, we, we still are. Um, the problem with bu- what, the problem with the public bug tracker, as, like, as much as I do enjoy it and as seeing the kind of stuff lined up, is that a lot of people, when they they submit things to it, don't check for what's already there. So it's like it's like left this like huge pile of things that just a lot of it is probably already duplicated of, of the same issue. Like I couldn't tell you how many like I have a problem with offline progress things there are in that list because there's like probably like a good forty percent of that list is just like I had a problem with offline progress, which is something like we're aware of, and like there's already a couple like high uploaded ones on there, so. Uh, oh, thanks for the chest. I was wondering which area to go to to unlock the third patron and find towering expectations area for for uh, for Strahd. Uh, so you need to go into the Grand Tour of the Sword Coast, and then there'll be an option if you've unlocked the uh, if you've unlocked it, you can go into Barovia. Uh, you can go into there, and then play through there, and that's where you'll find uh, towering expectations. Uh, <laughs> Robo Calvin, thanks for being a ticket hero, Sean. That's what I do. It's literally my job. <laughs> and host. And host, yeah. Hostess with the mostest. I just said host with the most. <laughs> uh, thank, uh, Dammy1995, thank you very much for the free code. I am new and got a, uh, a l- three level three blue eyes, which is great. Oh, nice. Congrats. That's, that's awesome. Uh, is Battle Champions cross platform? Can I start a save on Steam and continue on the Switch? Uh, it is not cross platform, no. Uh, so wherever you start on, the save will stay on that one. If you start somewhere else, it'll you have to start brand new. The yeah, artist page check it says Sean Ticket Hero and Grill Champion. Yeah, nailed it on the head. Yeah, not cross platform. A lot of like contractual stuff along with that. That's why we can't do that. So. Uh, also, and we had a cute gin that doesn't do anything but run across the screen. Yeah, I mean, we'll get them fixed. I <laughs> thought your job was hitting dragon bait. That's just like that's when I have nothing else to do. That's a perk. Yeah, that's a perk. <laughs> I make that. I have my little mini of him that I created, which is faces like all shifted to the side. And I just look at that and I'm like, you deserve this. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jax, wow, 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 Leo, wow. You hurt him so. Oh, I need to fix my 3D printer. It's, a, it's been a bit wonky. Like the, the, the leveling bed is like too low. Can't print any minis. Why do I come here for this abuse? <laughs> Sean, can we create some emotes for Girl Chain and send them to you via tickets? Just curious. Oh. Um Maybe. Probably. Uh I mean you definitely could. Uh maybe not maybe not um post not maybe not via ticket. Um just, you can just put it in the um the art uh Discord. The art part of the Discord would be good. And if you're okay with us using him, then we can, yeah, we can, like, hand him off to the, the team and see what they say, and if they can make that final decision, but... Yeah, talk to legal first? Yeah, that's that's the big one, yeah. It's like, there's a lot of steps we have to go through for, like, this kind of stuff, so... I mean, if you make it, if you give us permission to use it, and then we pass it along, and then they... And then it kind of goes up the chain, does that thing, then maybe? But that's a lot, there's a lot of steps above me, and a way above my pay grade. So. But I would love to see what you guys come up with for emotes and stuff. That'd be great. Yeah, but I make, I make I can't make any promises about anything about it though. That's that part. That part's not my job. But god dang, do we need a flipping mount? Flipping mount and some other stuff for idle insights. Wait, well, yeah, what kind of uh? It's gonna have that kind of backup though. Oh yeah, totally. Wait, what kind of? I guess, yeah, what kind of, uh, yeah, what's it called, um, like, emotes would we do for other, for other shows? Like, what would we do for, like, Bardic Inspiration? I feel like if we, like, we, we, I want to, like, what would it be, like, holding up the, it would be, like, holding a torch? It's, like, kind of, like, holding up the lighter in, like, the, like, concerts? Oh! <laughs> like, a torch instead? Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. The one for that, I can do one for that, what, so champions, champions of lore. Oh, what, kind of, what kind of email would we do for that? Hmm. I, feel, I still haven't sat down, like, uh, I sat down and, like, watched the champions of lore yet, because they're always, like, it's always in the middle of, like, the meetings and stuff for us. That's but why I, it's podcastable, dude. Yeah, that's true. But I barely keep up on like my actual like 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 D and D and Pathfinder podcasts. Oh, a harpy mode would be good too. Yeah, for Bardic Inspiration. Hmm. Yeah, I do need to listen to them. I, I, every time I tune in like, and listen and do listen to it, it's always like a lot of fun. So I do want to go back and uh. And listen to them. Yeah, yeah so I feel like a lot of other there's a lot of other shows don't have a lot of like big things kind of like we do, like with like the the, the spatula, like a flipping and the pancakes and stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of things that are, I think are really easy to make into an emote, whereas the other shows might be a bit more difficult. Well, I mean, there's also to some extent um, we're on this show. So we know what kind of inside jokes, what kind of, you know, so it's like, it is definitely hard to be like, oh man, champions of lore, all we really, ha all you like have to go off of than that is, this is what the show technically is about. Yeah, that's true. And granted, pancakes are a visual medium already, so there's, it's an easier kind of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, lines to die. Yeah. What glowing arcane book for Champions of Lore? That'd be good. To Dylan's face is a reaction. The reaction face would probably be good too. Heck yeah, it would. <laughs> Dylan's face in general would be just really nice to look at all the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else we would do. Yeah, I guess I could say, yeah, it is a Dylan Fram from People Post Blessed. Yes. That would be good. 
So I think the, the thing with uh, with uh, with emotes is that you can't like, have something else that somebody else has, like at a different channel, right? Because I know there's like there are actual like other hashtag blessed, um, like actual emotes for other channels. Oh, you can't use the same art. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can use the same. Mm. Imagine a hashtag blessed emote, which is just Dylan looking across you. A whole series of Dylan faces would be great. Yeah. <laughs> a series of Dylan faces. Um, a shocked Margaret face would probably be really good. <laughs> would, Dylan, would Dylan agree to that? <laughs> I don't know, Sash. <laughs> he might. It'd be funny. Or you can just do tell him it's happening regardless, and then do a reaction face to him being told that, and that might be just <laughs> yeah. I feel like I already have like mine, which is like the hello ding dong hello Sean. Even that's funny because even though Margaret said that, I feel like that one's mine. Some of the CNE owned champions saying higher hello. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> CNE emote Margaret boss. That's a good one. Coffee market, yeah. Dylan is in meetings right now, probably. So, what does your shock face look like? Yeah. My reactionary forearms, like, <laughs> like, shock, <laughs> anger, <laughs> joy. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely a spatula with like a word like flip with it. With it, maybe the spatula is flipping the word flip. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, for me, I, I can only imagine uh, a flip and a forearm. Oh, the anger with that Arthur meme. Oh yeah. <laughs> he said he said like a closed fist, right? Yeah, it's like closed, but like, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Ooh, man, this pancake's big. What a detail of this one. I wonder who it could be. Lee, her emotes would be easy. Recycling things emotes, man, and family. <laughs> what was that? Uh, it says uh, recycling things emote that uh, emotes, me and family. No, oh, yeah. Just put the tattoo on there. Yeah. Uh, slick shot double seven. Shot my primary device. The game is an iPad. If I bought a newer model, will my account transfer automatically to the new device if I set up with the same Apple ID? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So you like for like. Uh, yeah, for Apple and like for Android Mobile, as long as you're signing with the exact same information, uh, then the MV, your save will travel over and over without any issue. It's just going from like iPad to Steam doesn't work, right? Your mobile. Yeah. No dragon be pancake, but he can have an email as a treat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Almost there. So color them in. I like how you make it sound like that is not in itself the. Uh, <laughs> it's not so difficult. Yeah. An equally stressful part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Slick shot. Bleh, slick shot. Whoa. Whoa. Your feelings on slick shot. No problem. <laughs> Bleh, slick shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Dragon Mage should be the first emote. Now, if anything, we do it in order. So I think the first emote would be Stokey. Yeah. I think she was the first scene original. I was reading the... Uh, I was reading Mustang's Arts uh, Twitter about this character and coming out. And it's just... 
really cool. They, they're saying how cool it is that, that you know, just the what everyone knows about CNE is they don't just like, hey, let's just make this character. It's just how much conversation and collaboration went into really making sure that this character holds true to the chair and the character because it was from a it was like a stream that that they were on that introduced a line yeah I don't, I don't remember that uh what stream was it not i want to look it up uh And I know they posted about it. Just trying to, oh, they were on the uh, uh, HWR Park podcast and their Rhyme of the yeah. Frost meeting team. The Oh, How We Roll podcast. Oh, it's a UK and Ireland based one. That's cool. That's awesome, yeah. This must be must. This may be the most intricate pancake yet, certainly that I've seen. I mean, yeah, this one's got a lot of detail to it. Little little lines and stuff. And... But it's okay. He Earth. just has to color it in. It's not that difficult, right? <laughs> <laughs> I said that I'm fully knowing how difficult it is. Well, the line work is definitely going to be your most, like, you know, the coloring of the pancake, that process is, um, the stress in that one is a lot more about the uh, prep before the show than the actual coloring of it in. Yeah. Color matching, trying to make sure that. How do you feel about the uh, the chain double ones? Um, <laughs> the little like chains around their arms and their bodies, and they're all hanging off. Yeah, there have definitely been a, a couple that have been a real test of like. <laughs> But really, with that one, it wasn't so much about like, oh, I gotta do all these chains. Uh, it was more, <laughs> how do I do all of these chains overlapping each other and make it so you're like, oh, those are not just chains, but look like good chains. But I yeah. think I cheap. I was really happy with it. And if you, you disagree, um, just don't let me know. <laughs> no, they look good. Just like, you saw like how difficult and like time consuming it is to be like, okay. Chain link, chain link, chain link, chain link, and like have to go through each one individually. Like, ugh. well, that's the thing. I think there's a big difference between the first time I did that and the second time I did that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think actually both of them achieved the general feel and aesthetic that I wanted pretty well. But um, it's not always like with pancake art. That's one of the things I really like about pancake art. It isn't so much about the detail you put in, it's about the detail you leave out to some extent sometimes. And like the kind of mental editing that you do, because sometimes you do want to try to achieve the goal of it without, like, if I, like for portraiture especially. Mm -hmm. If I tried to put in every single thing that I saw on someone's faces as an like, intricate detail, it would look real weird. <laughs> um, but there are some things that you can do where it's about what you kind of give the idea of. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, one day I should try, try this and stuff. I get the bottles and stuff. Oh. 
So do you have any any other big um, what are they called? New Year's resolutions. That's it. I don't well. Nothing that I'm calling a resolution because it's just I don't I don't need to set myself up to fail something and feel bad about it. But I mean I've got goals. I've got things I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I would really really enjoy uh, streaming more the the games that we did for. Um, the big Wednesday show we did for you guys it was so much oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. I loved, loved, loved getting to take kind of a, a debate and a conversation and making a, a silly character out of it that I, you know, like we do in these kind of things. You make a character for a game and they're like, oh, well, I love them and want to be them in forever times. So, like, I really enjoyed portraying Watt 221B. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, 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 you know, just in general, I want to do a little bit more streaming gaming, just gaming in general. Mm -hmm. um, trying to buy a house. It's a big one. It's a big, tough one. A big, tough one. And yeah. We were going to try to do it earlier in our cycle, but then some... Problems came up in our country and things like that. But yeah. I mean, the idea of moving to another part of the state and looking for a house. Yeah. Would you move out of state if it was worth it? Um, it's a big one. Moving out of state would have to be something that is like. So, like, we're, we're just moving to the part of Arizona that um, Ashley's family is in. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's the most moving into state that you can do. <laughs> but um, but if I was going to move out of state, it would have to be for something so, like, I just, we can't say no to it as yeah. a family. Oh, yeah, like, such a perfect place? Yeah, yeah. Perfect place, perfect reason. I mean, if it was like, hey, this, this career thing is going to, be so amazing like you know what i mean like it would never be a. wouldn't it be cool to live this place yeah yeah more perfect job yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> mox process on my new year's resolution 1920 by 1080 i got a new monitor for christmas <laughs> uh oh sean colleges uh spells the name sean correct correctly thank you thank you uh, hey, noob question. Would you be willing to explain like I'm five the, what the percent means when I mess over the complete adventure uh, like Torm uh, favor plus 15% uh, plus 4% increase? So the percentage increase there is just showing you like how much of a percentage increase you're getting above what you currently have. Right? Like if you have 100 and you go to 200, that's a 100% you know, increase. So that's what it's doing. So it's showing that that 15,000 is a 44% increase from what you to currently have. I hope that answers it. Uh, I, I also ex expect five-year-olds probably not that good with percentages. Would love to move out of here, Gower, uh, but just uh, can't do it without, without, without the right job. Yeah. If the, if the right job does make it difficult. Right. And then you have to add on to that for me that it has to be the right job, the right place to raise a child. Oh, and yeah. She would, you know, I mean, it, it, it's... Yeah. Things get way more complicated. Yeah. Ah, cool. That makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, Sean. Sean Cologist. So I, I hate moving. I remember there was yep. a there was a couple years. There was just like every year was like a new like you move you moved every year. Just uh. Yeah. I hated well, it. We've been at this apartment. This is our second year. Like we've already done the first year, I guess. Um, but prior to that, like we actually had an apartment in the same complex, mm -hmm. and then I don't know, some something happened on July thirty first, twenty nineteen, that made um, a two bedroom apartment more <laughs> needed for us. I, God, for the life of me, I can't think of what it is. Yeah, it must not have been that important then. 
Don't you ever say my baby's mine. <laughs> Even as a joke. Even as a joke. Uh, uh, it says they've uh, I've moved but four yeah, times in three years. Oh, yeah, that's brutal. It's getting, oh, it's getting, getting very old, yeah. I can imagine. Been lucky, like, because we bought our place. We've been in our current place for five years, six years. Wow. Something like that. A long time. Yeah. I mean, the place isn't too bad. It's it's a, it's in a really really good location. Um, I just think, we, and we, the only problem is we have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, we I just wish we had like if we have five in a bit, yeah. So I wish we just had like more more room for all said stuff. Rather than like a lot of cram, like a lot of like cramming things into where it goes. Like we have like untold amounts of like cost by material. Like it's crazy. I don't know. A better place, yeah. Stuff accumulates to fill however much space you have. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Like, we're, we're actually, like, I think we need, just like hard drives, yeah. I think we actually need to, like, get some more IKEA stuff, as much as I hate to say it. <laughs> some more IKEA shells. And just say more, put it together yourself. Yeah. Shelves. I think we I mean, like <laughs> Nevada just gasp, but yeah. Good organizational furniture helps a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We just, we just have like a crazy amount of board games. And books. What a cool problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Taco burning tree. Oh didn't you're trying to take Nightbot's job? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a it's a fun problem to have. You know, having like, you know, like entire like bookcases full of board games, but you know, it's you also know how to have bookcases full of board games that are just like filling up everywhere. Part of it is the concept of you need to find. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, space for more things. But then also, no one loves to have this be the case, but. Figuring out what perhaps uh, you haven't used in in a very long time. So yeah. Maybe uh, love the board game, but it hasn't been played in thirty-two years. Time yeah. to donate it just yeah. to a loving family who will play it. That's true. Yeah, the purge is difficult. Oh yeah. But if we had more space for them, we have to worry about <laughs> y'all sons of mothers need Mary Kondo. Yeah, doesn't bring joy. So one of my one of my friends is really big at entering a bunch of uh, online contests. So he's won like three three D printers over the, over like the year. So he's like by doing that, he's pretty much started his own little. Uh, like three D printing business on the side, just because he just keeps winning like resin printers and like filament printers and all this stuff. And he's like, "Yeah, our laundry room is just like three or four printers now, just sitting in there because that's, that's the only space we have for them." Getting rid of things you don't use just to make space for others has been a big deal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, just fill it in, yeah. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, it's one of those things where, like, if we do a purge, then I feel like it'll be like, oh, well, my stuff's going to go. Right? But, uh, like, that will be, a, <laughs> should be the case? Probably should be the case, yeah. Uh, resin printer dispensing pancake dough? Hmm, yeah. Uh been a bit distracted is is this the next event champ yes it is surprise Doo -doo -doo. Could be nice, <laughs> could be nice flip coming on soon uh clutter makes life too stressful and all the stuff that, that just goes unused yeah hard part figuring out where the throw it away donors yeah that that is a hard part too
Yeah, to, like, is this in good enough condition for me to, like, to throw it away or to, to sell or... Yeah. And the problem with selling it, too, is, like, like are people going to buy it? Right? Because we're such big nerds, like, all of our houses is, like, a lot of, like, anime and board games and stuff like that. So, like, if we sell it, like, are people actually going to come over and buy it and all that stuff? And then, yeah, the whole, you know, the, <laughs> that should not be named going on. Yeah, it's worth my time to try and sell it. Yeah. Yeah, like, Nevada, like, we had some old manga that was laying around that Nevada went out and uh, put up online and sold. It was, like, like, 15 bucks for the three, for three manga, I think it was. You know what I'll say? One of the funniest things I've seen over, like, the Christmas break on, like, TikTok and things like that. Hmm. And it's one of those, like, I can relate to parents and family that don't get the hobbies, so they go and get what they, like, like, oh, this must be it. So you got a lot of people who have, like, uh, they're manga and anime fans, and their family buys them, like, and die. Thank oh god! <laughs> no, mom, no. Yeah, Nevada's like sold three out of the eighteen we've listed. Yeah, once she's listed. You have boxes of stuff for garage sales, but you can't have garage sales. Yeah, oof. I feel like you still like kind of can't, like we actually uh, over the summer, we actually did run into a garage sale. Um, on the way going to the mall, we end up picking Ooh. up some things. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, we ended up picking up like, a lot of like, like, it was like Christmas stuff. Like wrapping paper in like bags and stuff. But they had like sanitary hand wipes and things like that, so. Crush sales and malls, those are time, those, those are before time things, yeah. Why does everyone keep calling Gragu Baby Yoda when he's not Baby Yoda? I don't know, man. Why? I, haven't, I haven't watched Nintendo Learn <laughs> yet. Especially because you got a Gragu. That's very easy to tell. Yeah. People around here don't wear masks. My mom is still doing that risk. So I'm going to crush something in my house. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's fair. You could always do online shop. You know, throw up on eBay. Depends on what it is, right? So. But yeah, clutter is clutter's annoying. I want to welcome Aelin. It's the Aelin, right? It's the Which, sorry? Aelin. The the champion. Oh, Talon. Talon. Yeah. Sorry. Talon. I want to introduce <laughs> the new champion. There you go. In the, in the best way that we know how here at Griddle Champions. <laughs> oh, that's what our emote would be. Oh, but... yeah, that has to be it. Not screw the flip. <laughs> yeah, we got. It's a customary. Customary, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, uh. Does garage? Oh God. Does garage rhyme with carriage, barrage, or the first syllable of gradiate? I don't know what that last word is. <laughs> gradiate. 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 I don't know. I don't have a chat in front of me. I wish uh, I had another screen. Do you mean graduate? Oh uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> was it graduate? It was, Did yeah. You say graduate. Well, they they put a Y in it. They misspelled it. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's like great gradient. I'm like why? Like why is that a word? I don't I don't know what that word is. I've never heard of it before. The highest code. Yeah, then I looked at my keyboard and I was like, oh, that might be it. Okay. I also Googled it just to be sure, and it was like, 
showing results for graduate? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, almost there. Almost there. Uh, go over it again uh, for the week, the uh, weekend buff for people if they haven't if, uh, if they're if coming in hot, coming in new. Uh, coming so in we're, hot. Come, we're coming in hot. Yeah. Uh, it's the Winter Warrior weekend, which isn't so hot. Um, oh, oh, and maybe I'll wait. Yeah. You ready? Oh, let's go. Yeah. So this is uh, this is Talon Oren. Uh the. It's a charismatic rogue who uses a combat wheelchair, and he was created by at Mustang's Art, and we're really excited to bring him to the game. Uh, it's going to be, we're just we're super excited. It's going to be great. Oh, they're in chat too. Hey, Mustang's Art, how's it going? Hey, Mustang's Art, <laughs> my boy. <laughs> Your boy's about to get eaten in pancake art form. No, 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 no. Mustang's Art, thank you so much for putting as much effort and care into adding that layer of accessibility mm -hmm. and representation into uh, D&D. I think it's really amazing, and I've been following this for pretty much since its inception on Twitter. Yeah. So it's great. It's, it's great work, 100%. It was an honor to make. Yeah. Yeah, make sure to check check them out, uh, at Mustangs Art on Twitter. Go pull up and read the Comet Wheelchair. It's, gonna look, it's really good. <laughs> have him drown in a syrup trap next session. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably tell people that we can do the. Uh, uh, oh, you can drop the. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Phone. <laughs> Gower. Thank you, Gower. Ever. <laughs> Cassius phone. I <laughs> uh, don't want to know if that pancake had stubble. Hmm? So does it that did. pancake have stubble? And yeah, it did. Oh, hey, Eric. Welcome to the chat. Hey Eric. How's it going? That's the new champ. That was the new champ. Yeah. Talon Aran. It's so exciting. I love the, I love the little reveals we do on, on here. Love the yeah. new hat. Sean, oh, thank you. And that did a wonderful job on it. My, my favorite streams are for us is when we do all the reveals and the champions and stuff. So it's super exciting. Mm -hmm. I like when we make um, the champions and the, the new stuff that is tied to a person. Yeah. Who create, you know, like someone who uses that character, someone that can see their, you know, the, their, their creation, piece. right? Yeah. All, all, the, all the time spent on it so they come to life and like, uh, even in just pancake form. Uh, does that mean she can have her chef's back hat? No. Yes, yes. She could definitely have her hat back if she wants. I'll take it home and wash it first. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> Still phoneless. Her his phone is down. It's fine. <laughs> oh yes, please. Okay, cool. I'll bring him. Has a new hat, or I haven't been very observant. Probably the second part. <laughs> yes, it's not just a normal sh white chef's hat anymore. This is a custom made, one of a kind. Uh, you didn't notice his <laughs> griddle champions? Yeah, hold on. Oh. Griddle champions. Mm. It's shiny. It's got a little pancake logo on it. A little 
Pancake hmm? Logo. You mean our show's logo? Our show's logo, yeah. Exactly. Although I tell you right now, I could not eat a free stack of pancakes. It's a great, great hat. Yes, it is. Thank you, Nevada. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's live. It's live. I loved, I love Talon's attack animation where he just like disappears behind someone and stabs him with a rapier. It's so cool. I can say I've never seen a tea thing with like a with like a, a beard before. The subble looks, I think the subble looks really good. I love it. Oh, just in the in the. I think it's about my pancake. I'm sorry. Oh, no. like, thank you. <laughs> Well, they look good on the pancake too. I feel like it's kind of hard to make the look come like show through. All right, what do we got? Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, a dashing rogue zips by on his chair. Now that's an entrance. Yeah. Do your tiefling rogues have a tief's code? <laughs> this is the rogue code. Talon around as a rogue of great renown within Water Deep while on an assignment with the. Grand Bar's blades a few years ago. He was caught in a building cleft left and paralyzed from the waist down. Now equipped with his combat wheelchair, Talon is back to doing what he does best, saving the day and looking awesome while doing it. Nice. Talon is a charismatic rogue who specializes in analyzing and exploiting enemy weaknesses, increasing the damage of his allies, and slowing enemies with his scatter, scatter attacks. Talon is a support champion who's in slot two. Ooh. Uh, available for Mert and for Strahd. Nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely make sure you go and read through. It sounds a slut swap, yeah. Slut, slut too. What is it? Basic attacks of quiet ambush. Uh, Town disappears from into the shadows and reappears behind a random enemy, stabbing them with his rapier. He then shadow steps back into the formation. Uh, Teeth can't. <laughs> oh, bye, Mox Pearl. Have a good one. Thanks for coming by the first stream of the year. Uh, so formation abilities, we got uh, spot weakness. Talon carefully observes the enemies as they spawn and whispers weak spot suggestions to nearby champions, increasing their damage by 100%. This damage is increased by 10% for each enemy killed in the current area, stacking multiplicatively and capping at 25 kills. That applies to all champions of formation, but the effect is reduced by 25% for each cha for each slot away from Talon they uh, pass to one, uh, second multiplicatively. Okay. So the further away they are from Talon, the less, less buffs they get. Uh, buffs apply to the post stack value damage only. Yep. I like that because it's the whole concept of like it's a whisper. So if yeah. you hear it. Smart. Big brain. <laughs> uh, scatter attacks. When Talon attacks with quiet ambush, these kind of set of scatter attacks, which cause enemies sending on them to be slowed by 50% and take 100% more damage from attacks. Each set of attacks lasts for 10 seconds before disappearing, and attacks are spread in a medium radius. Buffs increase the damage bonus, but not the slow amount. Okay. So permanent 50% slow, and then you know upgrades will make that go higher. Uh, Talon decreases. Ooh, this is a good one. Talon decreases the DPS of evil champions formation by 50%, but increases the damage of good champions by 50% for each evil champion second multiplicatively. Ooh. So you find the balance of having like evil champions in your, in your formation to give you a buff for the good ones. That's cool. Uh, specializations. Uh, Pathfinder. Uh, in my D&D game, come on. Uh, increases the stat cap and damage buff of spot weakness by 100%. Additional scatter attacks. Uh, increases the slow effect, radius, and damage of scatter attacks by 50%. Multiplicatively. Uh, and reversal of fortunes. Reverses the effect of antagonists, decreasing the damage of good champions, and increasing the evil damage of evil champions based on the good champions. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, you can just, whatever fits your party at the time, you can flip it around. Then his ultimate, the Razor Edge Chakram, Talon detaches a secondary hoop shaped blade from his wheelchair re 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 rear wheel, wow, uh, and flings at the furthest enemy. It travels in a large arcing loop, damages all before returning to Talon. Nice. 
I like that antagonist ability. I think that's really cool. I think that would be a lot of fun. I like the concept of being able to utilize the concept of mixing and matching like evil and good. Yeah. Like, is that, is that something that's done with any other characters where it's like... I don't think... Like, there's a lot of champions that are like, you know, if you're if you're good, you get a buff, or if you're evil, you get a buff, but nothing right. like... Uh, nothing like a reversal. Like, if you're if you're evil, you get a decrease, and then uh, the good people get a, a increase based on the amount you got decreased. So... It would be it'd be fun like it'd be fun to kind of get, find the balance. Like, do you have like a whole evil formation, and then have one good champion in the formation to like get that massive buff? But yeah, it's it, it gives a new kind of meta. Yeah, gaming yeah, it'll be, it'll be neat. Uh, Hacking a ton, a wheelchair champion. You got it, man. Uh, this is Talon Oren. Uh, made by the great and wonderful uh, Mustangs Art on Twitter. Better be an evil champion. Uh, I believe they're good. I think Talon's good. Yeah, Talon's chaotic good. Chaotic good tiefling. Like every other streamer in the world. <laughs> yeah, I think like the whole like evil like uh, as a wheelchair user, all my fifty-two years, I'm welcoming. Oh, that's fantastic! Glad you're glad you enjoy it. Hope Talon comes out next week, so he's gonna be uh, a lot of fun. I think I, I really think that uh, that antagonist ability is gonna be like it's, it's big, it's big thing. Like the spot weakness is good because it's a global buff. It just decreases based off of uh, how far away they are. Um, but I think antagonist is gonna be like his big. His big ticket buff. Yeah, town carefully observe the enemies of their spawn and whisper weak spots, increasing their defense. So all champions are mission. Yeah, so spot weakness is not is not a positional one. So keep that in mind. Uh, Garth Mindfeather, I'm welcoming, I'm welcoming uh, a wheelchair champion uh, as well, though I'd prefer one on the set of good. My daughter has been a chair all her life. Well, this is, he's chaotic this good. good. So, yeah. He fits. See, this is why representation matters. Everybody should have their spotlight to be a hero, no matter, no matter what's going on with them. Everybody's a hero. I've seen the ultimate go through too. It's pretty cool. It's like one big like U shape that cuts through everything. Slot two without healing. Well, I like the overall diversity and inclusion represents like this game mechanic mechanic diversity as well. Also too, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. He's the, yeah. I guess he is the first. Oh no, Korf is in there because he he doesn't heal, but he has a temporary shield. So yeah, I guess he is the first. Talon will be the first one in that slot that doesn't heal your shield. Oh, Crydal, right. <laughs> Everybody forgets about Crydal, come on. Ooh. Yeah. yeah Crydal, but yeah, that's Crydal, yeah, yeah. Uh, how can I tell? I prefer it on the dark side because I am tired of the stereotype of the good poor guy on the wheelchair. So I think that's why the, the reversal of fortunes spec is there. So rather than like helping the good champions, you reverse the fortune, then he can, he can choose to help the bad cha evil champions instead. So. I think it does kind of fit both sides, but like his, because like he is as a as a cute as a uh, character is chaotic good, but he can still choose to help the evil side with the reversal of I fortune. I mean, it's about the balance. It's yeah. you know, I mean, chaotic chaotic good people tend to f do whatever is like best for them in the moment, while not trying to be like obviously like murderous rampaging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think yeah, I think Talon's gonna. I think Talon. I want to. I just can't wait for next week. I want to try him out. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm sure Garwar will 
we'll go all over all over it again. Get the uh, veteran player take. But it's good. I'm I'm really happy we have this kind of like stop telling me what to do. <laughs> Never. I'm really glad we have this like extra representation in the game. It's it's so important. Oh, sometimes it yeah. Can we forget forgot about Cradle? Is he really that like that underused? Poor guy. Just got put out and then just everyone was like, nope. Doesn't have a niche, yeah. I mean, his niche is supposed to be like the heroes of Baldur's Gate, right? But, you know, that's kind of, eh. The heroes of Baldur's Gate party isn't, isn't the strongest. He's got multiple DPS in the yeah. The only good thing to come out of the here, like the only, like good character for the game, uh, is Shandy, right? So, crowd made a bit of love next pass. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we still have to do the uh, year two rebalance, I think, right? So we, we finished year one, part two, so we had to work on the year two balance. So we still, I think, maybe then he's year three, so he's gonna be a little while before I think he gets a. Gets the love. Yeah, gets a little bit of love. I do prefer having a healer in the mix, so slot two not doing so irritates. Fair. I mean, what other places are there healing? Uh, Neris in slot 12. Uh, you can just do a bunch of, uh, have a bunch of shields with uh, Calliope. Uh, let's see, that's slot four, three, four. Uh, yeah. Who else gives shields? Um, I mean, Ayla can just shield herself and tank forever. So that should, that's usually fine. Uh, Tiro heals, yeah, heals when he's in a moonbeam form. Oh, yeah. Keele can slot five. One of the best healers in the game. You got options, man. You got options. I wonder what his variants are going to be like. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Oh, got to go slow at work. <laughs> it's not a slow Friday. Oh, get back to work. Get back to work, how can I turn? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, though. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, oh, yeah, slot 5 was Krull, though. Ooh, yeah. If you trade Krull for, uh, for healing. Yeah. Oh, wait, are we wrong? Sorry, that's cruel. Are we crazy? It's on six. Uh. Oh, oh, we right, right. My fault. Click too fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, cruel slot six. So yeah, perfect. It works out. Five is Clippy Briv. Yeah. We use Clippy for shields to give up Briv's skips, but. You know, Briv should just be in the background. Let's give him that but one. But what I like is that you're also. Are you including the question of the good and the evil? Because Crawl's evil, so it's going to have some buff things. And then. Uh, yeah. The healer you're talking about, what are they? Oh, Killick is, Kill is good, yeah. Oh, yeah, Briv heals as well, too, yeah. And they would get buffed by... Yeah. Ooh, a lot of options. That's why it's important we have everything kind of uh, spread out across uh, across different ones. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder, if, like, I wonder how people are going to... You use talent up here. Just gonna like jump, like okay, full evil formation, 
of talent and like one good champion, and then and then roll with that if that's what the, the plan is, or, or vice versa. Would you even? I guess with Bailoff, that's pretty big because Bailoff's buffs are pretty good. <laughs> Bit made some, nice, neat. I've never u considered using Pancake as a medium. Neither did I until forty weeks ago. Neither did I. <laughs> oh, the beer looks good. To, just found a way to professionally play with my food. No. <laughs> I always tell you, always tell the kids, don't play with their food. But hey, if you do, you do it well enough, you can make get work out of it. Who do you think Town's gonna fit in well with everybody? What's your what are your thoughts? Oh, uh thank you, Mercant Manor, for the subscription. Hey, Four months you. now. Woo! Thank you. Hopefully we'll get more healers once they have slots two and five especially. But there's still one in tier, uh slot twelve with Neris. You can you can heal from there. Just drop the Zorba, it's okay. Use the Shara instead. Look man, Zor Zorba's at Ashara's in. It's just it's just the new way. Alina? Talon Alina? and the Person Angels, presumably. Yeah. Let's go full tiefling. Full tiefling formation. Here we go. Cool. Yeah. I think the yeah, tiefling formation would be pretty fun. If you use self shielding tanks, healers aren't really required, so it'd be interesting to see how this works out. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I feel like healing is, is a bit of a niche in this game. It's only like certain places where healing is like. Um, is needed. Like the, like the bosses that hit everybody. Like that's kind of when you need the healing. But other than that, like I feel like if you're, if you're dying, your healing isn't going to keep up fast enough. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sean called. Is it wise to have one healer in a group, or is it more complex than that? Um, yeah, I think we were just saying, like, yeah, like having having a healer in the group. Like, I I personally always have one in. Uh, but I was just gonna use it with with Donar, who just is really is buffs pretty well for me. Um, because I'm mostly using him for the buff. But yeah, it's definitely a bit more complex. Like, I personally think healers are only really beneficial in like the, you know, in the uh, the Lindra bosses or like the. Uh, uh, like the the Orioles Rock boss, like the boss that hit everything, where like you can heal up. If hopefully if people don't automatically die, then uh, then they can get their uh, their health back up. Uh, as more champions are being added, we get closer and closer to a cohesive team. All Claire team, all Tiefling team, all Dragonborn team. Yeah, yeah that's true. I'm more interested in seeing how Talon works with Farida since uh, she needs more teeling to really excel. Oh yeah. That's what you have uh, Makos, Talon, Frida, Havilar, Strix. Probably wouldn't put Strix in there. Well maybe. That's a five. Are there any other teeflings? Am I crazy? I think that's it. They only have five right now, right? I'd have to crunch the numbers. You have to crunch the numbers, yeah. yeah I think there's only five. Although somebody will prove me wrong if I am wrong. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's the and internet. What do you expect? Someone will prove you wrong, but then um, others will not look at the fact that that was done and you'll be proved wrong by a whole bunch of different people. <laughs> yeah. If I know my internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the five. Uh, I'm checking. Yeah, Frida, Talon, Makos, Havilar, Strix. Yeah, yeah, just a five. 
And then only and then only other person has horns is Torga. Where's the turtle love? The half turtle turtle, the main major turtle love. We, we more trolls would be cool. We got we only have two, Grandma and Krull. <laughs> well, well, funny. <laughs> My butt suspended for that. One. Timed out for that one. That was good. I see the joke, and I I appreciate it. It worth it, yeah. <laughs> a horn champions variant incoming, but at a watt. Oh, oh man! Only what is this? Twenty four minutes left? Oh no! But time game. Yeah, welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it was it good. Is. Good to be back. It's so good to be back. <laughs> it's so good to be back. Yeah. I felt hollow, empty. Synonyms for that. This is a family-friendly show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do need a ninja turtle. A ninja turtle in a chain. We do need a ninja turtle. And just name it some other famous painter. Dolly, um, and I'll just give it really long, narrow legs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bitmaid Sinus says, Do you have to flip it? Do we have to? Do I have to? Probably <laughs> not, but. One would hope that it's okay. Yeah. Otherwise. A bit more detail on the, on the backhand side of it. Oh, hey, Lee. Lee's in chat. Deception. Yeah, I'm letting Miles do the pancake while I just hang out and chill. Yeah, that's a talented one-year-old. Almost one and a half. Well, almost one and a half, right? All right. Well, Lauren's telling me to flip, so I might as well do. Yeah, we got the butters in chat. I guess we have to. All right. Bam. Ooh. Oh, the stubble came out so good. Thanks. Looks really, really good. Thank you so yeah. much. Hi, Lee. I see you. <laughs> and the delay. And there I am. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. <laughs> that made just, oh my god. <laughs> Looks so good. Flip, flip, yeah. flip. Uh, Bitmage says it's so good. Uh, Sean Claus says that's so impressive. Good. Uh, Talon, no talent, says that's fantastic. Talon looking kind of like Star Lord. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see it. It's a handsome, charismatic rogue, right? Same thing. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. Uh. What's there, who's everybody hoping for on their time gates this weekend? Any any wishes? Any hopes? And they can try and like mind push into existence for you guys. I know last week we had a little bit of a, a weird issue where it said it wasn't supposed to be a free time gate weekend, but it wasn't. So that was kind of weird. You know what I kind of want to do? What? If you'll indulge. Oh. I, I want to. I want to do another, uh, I really enjoyed it last time. I want to make another stat sheet for some random character. A oh, stat sheet random character? Uh, yeah, like, like quick uh, draw 20 like minutes. We did, like we did Elsa. Oh god, do we, have a, do we do it in 20 minutes? We did it in less for Elsa. Well, that's true, we did. Uh, oh, short end, thanks for the sub. 11 months, woo! Thanks. You go. Alright, uh... How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys want to try doing a, a character build really quick? 20 minutes? Who would we build? Who who would we build though? I don't know. This is your this is your game. I'm just forcing you to play. This is my game, yeah. What is it? What is a weird character 
that we can build in D and D Beyond in twenty minutes and just like just bang it out really quick. Uh, well, I don't know. There was talk of uh, talk of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. What would that look like? <laughs> okay, yeah, we can do that. Build one of the team and team and teacher crew. Yeah, okay. Well, we can, we yeah. can build our do own. Da do Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Uh, da Vinci. All right. Fighter, fighter, monk, multi class. Uh, that's all. Samurai. Fun. All right. So we're doing a turtle. Easy. Choose race. Uh, yeah, we're good. All right. Artifice of Okay, so if we're doing, um, well, yeah. Which one a, do you want to do? A ninja uh, chat. Also, which a, one do you want to do? Yeah, we're doing a ninja turtle, or we're going to create our own ninja turtle. I think one that already. I think I think, I think we I think we create our own. I think it'll be a little more fun. We can we can talk about it a little bit. All right. Do uh, do Dolly. We create our own. Yeah, we can create our own Ninja Turtle. Okay, create our own more fun. All right, unique Ninja Turtle. Awesome. Uh, okay, so this I guess this is the the hard question is here. Um, are we going so class wise? Um, are we going straight? I always figure Shadow Monk, really good for ninjas, submit through the shadows, or do we do like a mix Shadow Monk Rogue? We'll do t we'll do a level ten. All right, so we can go well, five and five or. Seven and three or something no, like that. No, it doesn't necessarily need to, because we're making our own, it doesn't necessarily need to have the same kind of style as the others. I think that the well, Shadow Monk makes yeah. sense, but what do we... It's, it's been a while since I've done, since I've like, watched a little about Ninja Turtles. So I think, like, is it Donatello, the one with the purple? Yeah, he would also definitely yeah. be an artificer. Yeah, see, that, that's my thing, too. Is he's, he's like, I would, I would put him, like, Shadow Monk Artificer. So I would think if we use Shadow Monk as like the base for like the ninja, what do we do with him on the side, right? Or do we just stick like, or is this one just pure Shadow Monk Rogue? Uh, Warlock for the Dark and Gritty reboot. Ooh, okay, okay. Maybe he is a Ninja Turtle who works with Shredder. I make him a little bit evil. Make Razar. Razar. That some that, I I'm bad with my Ninja Turtles, man. It's been a long time. From Ninja Turtles to the movie Toka oh. and Razar. Don't know. Okay, we're seeing Shadow Rogue, Shadow Monk Rogue, a little bit of Warlock, Mix Monk and Rogue, maybe two levels of Bard for Jack of All Trades. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, mean, Raph yeah Raphael's definitely a swashbuckler Rogue. Okay. I'm like I'm liking the Warlock a little bit. But Warlock is also just like it's a patron Warlock, of right? the patron of the the rat. <laughs> yeah, patron of the rat. Yeah, that's the thing is Warlock is weird because they have otherworldly patron. I guess if you're doing Salvador Dali, then definitely you could be like the great, like the old ancient ones. Yeah. All right. I guess my question is reality. And what level do they do the, the teleporting stuff? Uh, oh, uh, tradition, shadow, uh, shadow step. I think it's pretty early. Yeah, six level. Okay, so shadow monk six. Uh, so that that'll give us that'll put us right to uh, pizza patron. Oh wait, wait a minute, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, Pizza Patron is like an actual. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So level six Shadow Monk. That's what we stick it at, because that gives us a shower step, which we can so we can teleport around a little bit. Uh, so that means we need four levels of something else. So I think Rogue is like, well, Rogue is the basic one. I think we could go with, right? Just so obvious. Oh, oh, I I love the name. I like that. Okay. This will be this will be Banksy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If we do Warlock, we could make yeah, Pizza the Hut as their patron. <laughs> so then Bard, if it's Banksy, could because the arts maybe Bard since they're all art. Yeah, Shadow Monk Bard. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's just an interesting idea for a class anyway. A Shadow yeah. Monk Bard. Alright, so if we do, let's say we do Bard. Let me give them four levels of that. I guess then the better question is what college? Creation, Glamour, Lore, Swords, Valor, Whispers. Hmm. Yeah, Shadow Monk Bard sounds good, yeah. What uh? What, yeah, what college do you think? Uh, creation, glamour, lore, swords, valor, whispers. I'd probably say swords or whispers. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm yeah, I'm learning towards whispers mostly mostly. Whispers for sure. Okay, cool, awesome, love it. Uh, proficiencies. Okay, what musical instrument? Bagpipes, drum, uh, dulcimer, flute, horn, lute, lyre, pan flute, schwamm, or viol. Could be spray paintable, like bagpipes that. Yeah, the flute. Spray paint. All right, all right, nuclear meatloaf. The flute it is, uh, and they're, they're going to be proficient in oh, acrobatics first off, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll get expertise in acrobatics. Uh, what else do we have? Proficiencies from the monk. Oh, uh, oh, do we have any, like, drawing tools? Alchemist supplies, brewer supplies, carpenters, cartographers, drum, glass blowers. Well, maybe he's their cartographer? Oh, oh, he's, oh he's getting painter supplies, because he's going to draw graffiti, right? Right, but the thing is, Donat I mean, they're, like, you don't get sculpting supplies because you're Donatello, necessarily. You know, it's not necessarily that the artist that they are does art. There's not a lot of artsy That's true, yeah. ninja, ninja turtling. And I think that it's important to kind of be like, what role needs to be fulfilled in Ninja Turtles? You got your party guy. You got your... Uh, you got your rough and tumble. You got your... I think maybe cartographer would be a good one. Like he's especially because if you think Banksy, you think like they just show up all over the place and yeah, random, so they probably know, you know, they know their way around and things like that. So I like that. Okay, I like that. I say maybe we steer clear of the art part and more of the like what their art would represent. Cool. Okay. Okay. I like that. Um, so the monk proficiencies uh, has obviously stealth. Then we have athletics, history, insight, or religion. Maybe insight. Yeah, there's no perception. Not not for these ones. We'll get we'll get jack of all trades towards it anyway, so we'll have a little bit of perception. Insight. Yeah. Insight. Flute is a musical of the soul. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Uh. Okay, and if we, uh, so we, I don't really want to go over a bunch of uh, different, uh, different feats. So we're just gonna do ASIs for both. Okay. Uh, so I think obviously Dex, and then Charisma, because we're, yeah, bar we're bards. Spell casting. Yeah. We're bard. Uh, we're bard. <laughs> uh, ASI, and we'll do the same thing here. Uh, or do we, or do we a little, no, we'll, we'll do, uh, for the bard one, we'll do dexterity and wisdom. So we'll get a little bit of a wisdom bump, uh, and then we got double boost to the dex, a little bit of wisdom bump, a little bit of a charisma bump. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Uh, and of course we'll just, we'll keep standard array. So we want... Charisma, so we got 15, dexterity there. I do like the idea of that, um, that whoever said it, like the, yeah, uh, well, Gar said this, a flute of noise suppression, you play tones opposite to the party to help you make to move more stealthily. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, if someone has like, like a feat idea, then throw it out there. Um, it's just there's a lot of feats in the game. I don't want to go through all of them. So if you can, if someone has a feat off the top of their head, it's like you know, like this is the one that fits really well. 
then we'll throw. We'll, I don't think they're. I don't think they're really. It's gonna be that. Yeah, weapon proficiency flute. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh... Well, there is a new proficiency that since Hosh is it, I think, makes things monk weapons that aren't necessarily monk weapons or something like that. Yeah. Uh, inspiring leader. Uh, I don't think I don't think he's, he's not the Leonardo. Leonardo. He ain't the leader. Yeah, Leonardo's the leader. Um, all right, so I got so standard array. You have a uh, eight, thirteen, twelve, ten, fifteen, fourteen. Um, that's kind of what I put out as for so far. Eight strength, uh, thirteen dex, twelve con, ten intelligence, fifteen wisdom, fourteen charisma. Uh, which means we have a that gives us ten strength, fifteen dex, twelve con, ten intelligence, seventeen wisdom, uh, and fifteen charisma. So a lot of Odd numbers there. I don't like it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Look, as we get uh, racial bonuses to uh, to strength, to the, we get a plus two to strength and a plus one to wisdom. So I think keeping strength at eight is fine. Bring us to the ten. Uh, dexterity. Be like 14 charisma 16 wisdom 13 intelligence 10 yeah that's better yeah so 10 16 12 10 15 16 hmm. or do we swap oh so this should be 13 this should be 10 Oh yeah, the mo mobility feat. Yeah, alert's good too. Alert's like, good too. Yeah. Alert. I like a plus nine to my initiative when yeah. I'm monking. Yeah, see, I mean that's that's the problem I think with uh with the feet doing this one with feats because there's just like there's so many good options. Yeah. The yeah, observant is always really good too. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with the ability score increases. It just makes it simple. Unless like we have one that's like no like one million percent everyone says yes to this one right so. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I think 18, 18, 14, 12, 13, 10, 15, which means our strength of 10, dexterity of 16, con of 12, intelligence of 13, wisdom of 12, uh, and charisma of 16. Ooh, that gives us a... A 16 AC, right? That ain't bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let me get to the spells. I got ideas. All right, we're doing Banksy. Uh, uh, starting equipment. He just gets his base stuff. Uh, short sword, dungeoneer's pack, no explorer's pack. Uh, yeah. Oh, seventeen AC. Right. Oh, because we're total. Right. Oh, nice. Yeah. 45. We're a fast turtle at 45 feet. <laughs> oh, they're fast squirrels. Yeah. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Check it out. What did I. Oh, well, man. Already. Already. Ruin it. <laughs> hey. This is a blink dog, right? Yeah, yeah. blink dog. Blinking. I made blinking. Blinking. <laughs> uh, do you know blink dogs and displacer beats hit each other like mortal enemies? Like so much so, if you were wearing a cloak of displacement, then every blink dog will attack you on sight. They hit each other. Hmm. Okay, what's hey, what spells did he give us? Can we do like hallucinatory terrain stuff, prismatic spray? I think it would be probably like. Uh, oh, did it not give us spells? We're bored. Yeah. Boards have spells. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't this. pick spells. Yeah. Uh. So three. I think their style would be like, you know, debuff, disruption, y kind of stuff against the enemy. Yeah. 
Uh, Mage Hand. Yeah. Uh, I think Vicious Mockery. Mainly because the, the, some of the turtles have a pretty, like, <laughs> lashy tongue. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, they just mock them from afar in the shadows. Uh, all right, last, uh... Well, I've done a Displacer Beast before Star Chaser. Yeah. And I got five... It's definitely <laughs> on my list of... to make if there's time. Yeah. Um, but is there time? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna throw in a message so he can, like, talk to the other turtles. And the shadows. Uh, all right, first level spells. You said you want it. We're thinking more debuffy. I want yeah, distraction debuff. Okay, so Bane, because we have seven spells that we can we can learn. Uh, I think Bane dissonant whispers is good. Mm hmm. Uh. Fairy fire. Nah, I just don't. There's no time to do it. No. Can you do nyahaha in graffiti art really quick? Yeah, anything sound? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I'm looking for like, anything to do with like sound. So I think dissonant whispers thunder, fits really well. Thunder, thunder, uh, or clap. Oh yeah, th uh, thunder wave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hideous laughter is really good too. Uh, what spells can we have up to? We have up to level two. Magic Mouth. Uh, hmm, that's five, so two more. Let's go hold person, that's always a good one. Yeah, right. oh, and silence. Yeah, that's a good one too. There we go. That's seven, all right. Um, yeah, cool. All right, there we go. Now we're done. What did I miss here? Oh, background, right. Uh, sewer dweller. <laughs> I was gonna try. I was gonna put painter, but there doesn't doesn't seem to be one. Uh, faceless. Oh well, yeah, because they. In the cartoon, they have the like masks that they wear, like the human people masks and trench coats they wear. <laughs> All right, I love it. Uh, you speak uh, Dorvish. All right. Oh, where you go? Where pinks go? There he is. Oh, bye, Star Tracer. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, see you. See you, you too, Amp Snyder. All right, I think I think this is good. Click the copy. All right, boom. There we go. There's Banksy. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Some pretty good spells in there. Good, some good support. Also, some not not so bad damage. Wait, can I go into my shell and then teleport around? Can you turn into like a so you can like I wonder if you can like shell defense, uh, so you get a plus four to AC, uh, and then use a shadow step to like teleport around. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, you could. Uh, oh, actually, can you? Uh, Uh, when you're, when you're in your shell, you're prone, your speed is zero, you have disadvantage on deck saving throws, you can't take reactions. Uh, you can move, you can merge from your shell as a bonus action. Uh, then shadow step. When you're in dim or darkness as a bonus action, you can teleport to 60 feet. Yeah, so you can like, dop into your shell, and then like, shadow step somewhere else and teleport away. <laughs> shell shock. <laughs> That's awesome. Shadow shell. <laughs> All right, that is 
I think that's it for today, right? Oh, yeah. It is. It's noon. Time gates are open, boys and girls, and, and everyone else. I think that is going to be it. Yeah, only a month secure shelter. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Thank you so much for coming to hang out on our, uh, on our first day back. Uh, it is January 8th. So, of course, we will see you again next week. Uh, so thank you so much for joining today and participating in Adult Champions and Dungeons & Dragons communities. You guys rock. We love you. Missed you guys so much. Uh, this show exists because of the amazing people behind the scenes, including our co-producer, Sasha! Sasha! <laughs> uh, as well as our partners at Dungeons & Dragons, Greg Bart Pelt, Allison Charling, and Lisa. Uh, don't forget to tune in at 1 p.m. for Godward's Guide to Everything Adult Champions. Uh, make sure you go and follow Mustangs Art on Twitter. Uh, and take a look at the, the combat wheelchair PDF they made. It's fantastic, uh, including your games. Uh, take care, champions, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.